<laughs> in the movie, two confident 12-year-olds in love make a pact to run away from the boys' scout troop and into the wilderness together, sending New England town into a panic to find them and maybe in the process, themselves. <laughs> <laughs> but the plot isn't the reason you go to see a Wes Anderson movie. Bill Murray is the reason you go see a Wes Anderson movie. Absolutely. Bill Murray pretty much does the only work he does anymore in Wes Anderson movies. And of the only work Bill Murray does, Wes Anderson's movies are the best. And I, <laughs> I don't know if you guys know this, but this is kind of important to know that Bill Murray has been married twice. He most recently got divorced in 2008. And here's something kind of cool. Uh, we are married. We got married on September 21st. And you know how I remember that? Because Bill Murray's birthday is September 21st. Always helps me remember my anniversary. <laughs> Karen really likes Bill Murray. Okay? Like, she's crazy about Bill Murray. But there's other people in the cast joining him. You've got Edward Norton playing a scoutmaster. Bruce Willis plays a sheriff. And Frances McDormand shows up as a concerned mother. I'm, I'm curious to see all these actors maybe playing different roles. And directed by Wes Anderson, I'm sure one of them's going to be dry. <laughs> <laughs> Another cool thing, Bill Murray has six sons, and one of them is named Homer, which is very cute. Okay, That's now, cute. Now the, boy, <laughs> the boy in the movie seems to be cut from the same cloth as Rushmore's Max Fisher. So everybody loves him, artist. Mm -hmm. Lover, explorer. I mean. You know what? Bill Murray also has a restaurant in Florida. He has it with his brothers. It's called the uh, Murray Brothers Caddy Shack. And every frame of this film is a painting, right? I mean, uh, I think Moonrise Kingdom is going to counter program the entire summer with its one movie. I mean, I know a lot of people are going to the Avengers. We're going tonight at midnight. But I know a lot of people who I think would see Rushmore over most things. I know that you think this movie's gonna be a big deal because of all the lovely landscapes and whatever that is you just said, but really, <laughs> if you think about it, the amazing thing about the West, well, Wes Anderson was able to even find Bill Murray. I don't know if you know this, but Bill Murray is such a recluse that he no longer has an agent or a lawyer or um, any way to get a hold of him. So he doesn't even have a manager. So what you have to do is you have to find the super secret number, the special number, and you call him on the phone and you leave a message. Then if he wants to talk to you, he will call you back. But here's the crazy thing, a little trivia for you. For Lost in Translation, <laughs> Sofia Coppola called him over a hundred times. Sofia Coppola. And he finally called her back to do that movie. It was crazy. Okay, stop her. What? <laughs> <laughs> I've seen a, a phone number show up on her phone bill recently. I don't know what it was. And it was called many times. And you're not even making a film. I could make a film. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, <there's, laughs> you know what I do. I know, I, I know you love Bill Murray, but there's other things, things to talk about with this film. I mean, there's the great cinematography. I mean, there's a whole bunch of Bruce Willis. <laughs> No need to be alone. I try to call your phone. Really, I'm sort of free. Why don't you call me? If you need me, let me know. I can come around. We can sing some karaoke in Korea town. Let, let's get low. I think you know. Thank <laughs> you.